Here we look at even and odd functions in asymmetry. Okay, so um, first I'm going to define what a even function is. A function is even. f of a negative x equals f of x for all x in the domain. Okay, so we're going to see what this has to do with symmetry in a second, but before we even do that, I'm going to, I'm going to ask you something, just in terms of using the definition directly. I'm going to ask you to prove, or we're going to prove, f of x equals x squared is an even function. So that is the first example. Okay, so what do I need to do to show that it's an even function? You need to show you need to show that when you plug in the negative x, you get the same answer as when you plug in positive x. Okay, so, so let's try that. Um, f of negative x. In this case, what is f of negative x? Well, if you look at my function rule, my function rule is x squared. So that means, for instance, if I plug in negative 2, I would just do negative 2 squared. If I plug in negative 4, I would write negative 4 squared. If I plug in negative x, therefore I would write negative x squared. So whenever, if I'm inputting negative x, I'm going to square negative x. But what is negative x squared? Well, that's negative times negative, which is positive, and x times x is x squared. And x squared, well, another name for x squared is, or if you look above, it says that x squared is equal to f of x. So you may not I've realized it, but we actually just showed that f of x equals x squared is an even function because we started this trail of equal signs with f of of x, and at the end we have it equal to f of x, and we just used perfectly logical rules of mathematics to show it. Okay, so that is what you need to do to show that a function is even. But let's see what uh, let's see what this function x squared. Um, and it needs to be even graphically and, and using a table uh, as well. So graphically, if I graph f of x equals x squared, let's see, if I plug in 1, I get 1. If I plug in 2, I get 4. If I plug in 1, I get 1. If I plug in 2, also have 4, if I plug in 0, I get 0. Okay, so there's my graph. And what you should notice is that if you look closely at the definition, it says f of negative x equals f of x. So that means if I plug in a negative x value, I get the same answer as when I plug in the pos that positive version of that x value. And is that happening in this, in this graph? Yeah, because if I plug in negative 2, I get 4 as an answer. And if I plug in positive 2, I also get 4. If I plug in negative 1, I get 1. If I plug in positive 1, I also get 1. Okay, now the result of that, we could do this on and on for all the x values. Uh, but notice this is just sort of evidence to, for what we showed above, that f of x, uh, f of negative x equals f of x. For all uh, for all x values, I, mean, I could I could plug in negative three, negative uh, negative ten, etc., and you would you'd find that the, the result's the same. Um, in terms of the graph, what you should note about this is that the picture exhibits what's called y-axis symmetry. That just means uh, if you reflect this picture over the y-axis, it's going to leave the picture unchanged. Okay, in other words, the y-axis is like acting like a mirror. 
Okay, so that's y-axis symmetry. So even functions exhibit y-axis symmetry. And then if you look at the table, if you look at the table, you can see the symmetry here as well, right? f of negative 1 equals f of 1. f of negative 2 equals f of 2. Okay? Now, in general, if you look at the table, that's one way to think about it. The other way to think about it is if x, y is in the table, then there's only of x, y is in the table as well. Okay, so those are three, those are the three big ideas you want to, you want to associate with an even function. One is the definition, f of negative x equals f of x. The other is that its graph exhibits y-axis symmetry. And in terms of the table, x, y is in the table implies negative x, y is also in the table. Okay? So we'll move on now to an odd function. So an odd function is odd if f of x equals negative f of x. equals x cubed is odd. Okay, well, we're really just going to follow the definition again. Okay, so we, we need to show that when I plug in a and x, I get the opposite of what I get when I plug in x. So let's go ahead and just do it. Uh, f of x equals, in this case, well, wherever I see an x in a function, I'm going to put a negative x, right? f takes inputs in, in cubes then. So, it's going to equal a negative x cubed. Now, let's evaluate. Negative x cubed is negative x times negative x times negative x, but a negative times a negative times a negative is a negative, and x times x times x is x cubed. Alright, and so now let's look closely what this is equal to. Well, that negative sign is going to copy down. And x cubed, if you look above, that's just another name for f of x. And again, if you look at the, what we have on this tray of equal signs, f of negative x equals negative f of x. That's what I just showed. Okay, so I just proved it was odd. Okay, so that's what you'd be expected to do to prove that a function is odd. Uh, let's look at the graphs. So we're plugging 0 into x cubed, I get 0, and we're plugging 1, I get 1, and we're plugging negative 1, I get negative 1, and we're plugging 2, I get 8, and we're plugging negative 2, I get 9, and negative 8. Sorry about that. Okay, so so the thing you want to notice about an odd function is that it has a type of symmetry that's different than the even function. It has what's called rotational symmetry. About the origin. rotational symmetry about the origin. So what does that mean? What it means is that if you imagine if you imagine taking your pencil and putting the tip of it at zero zero and then taking your other finger and sort of rotating, you know, almost like a propeller, rotating this picture around uh, around that central rotating point, your your pencil at or zero zero, what's gonna happen is if you rotate 180 degrees this point 1, 1 is going to land at negative 1, negative 1, and the point uh, 2, 8 is going to land at negative 2, negative 8. 
And if you think about it, what's going to happen is the picture is going to look exactly the same as it does right now. Okay, that's rotational symmetry about the origin. Okay, so even uh, odd functions exhibit rotational symmetry. And if you look at the table, if you look at the table, a negative 2 cubed is negative 8, negative 1 cubed is negative 1. What you notice is that f of negative 2 equals negative 8, f of 2 equals 8. f of negative 1 equals negative 1, f of 1 equals 1. So in general, if x, y is on the table, that means that negative x negative y on the table. Okay, so that is pretty much all you need to know about any mod functions. Um, the key ideas I have, uh, I have are the definitions and the starred, the starred portions of the page. Those are the things you want to associate appropriately with uh, any 